What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we got the Porsche just chilling here like a villain. I pretty much did everything I wanted to do to this other than a wing and an exhaust system. And we're doing one of those in today's video. The other one will have to be in another video uh, just because I have never drilled into a trunk before and I don't want to rush it. I feel like that would be like a whole day process because that trunk is over a thousand dollars. I would know because we have one for sale and I do not want to mess this thing up. So I guess you can look at it like in a positive sense. If I do mess it up, I technically do have another one, but it will cost the business a thousand dollars and I don't know if I want to do that so long story short the wing is gonna wait until I have somebody here that's authorized to let me know that I am drilling where I'm supposed to be drilling and I don't really know what I'm talking about in the video but I am authorized so you guys will be seeing the spoiler get installed later on in this video now in terms of the exhaust system I reached out to keys motorsports and said hey what kind of exhaust systems do you guys have? I think they had the Soul, I think they had the Borla, and they had like something else as well. And I was like, you know what? I looked up a couple videos. I think the Borla is underrated. I see a lot of the Soul um, exhaust systems for the 981 Cayman S's. Um, and they sound really good, but the Borla I'm not really seeing too much videos on. And your boy Nor always wants to make videos on stuff that people don't have much videos on because, you know, it makes my videos pop out. And plus the Borla exhaust system is cheaper, so I'm always that good bang for the buck kind of guy. So again, shout out to Keys Motorsports. We have the Borla exhaust. Let me go ahead and get that so I can show you guys what's inside. see this car is really coming together it looks honestly so 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 good I had a vision for this car when I first started the build and it honestly came out exactly the way I wanted like literally to the T to where I can't really be upset with this build I absolutely love it for what it is now towards the end of the video we're obviously gonna have some revving clips some drive-by some good stuff like that with the Borla exhaust but I'm also gonna be talking about my opinion of the Porsche 981 Cayman S but without further ado guys let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy because I am super excited to make this thing not sound like a Honda Civic Dope looking hat. We should add a Keys Motorsport one in here, but I'll wear this for now. An in-depth with picture install guide on your 981 Cayman S. That's pretty cool. I don't see nowadays people actually using pictures. Uh, most people just end up using words, text, or no instructions at all. So it's definitely a safe bet to start off with a Borla exhaust if you've never done an exhaust before. <laughs> oh buddy, these are the tips? Oh, these some big boys. These some big boys. Look at that Borla on there. That looks sick. These are huge, bro. Oh my God. All right, this is gonna be super sick. Not only do I love the exhaust, but I also love this box because here in AA Auto Parts, we reuse literally every box. Also, Jonathan just pulled up. I'm filming a separate video with this guy. He had a he had a crazy night last night. He got a new car the other day with no registration, no tags, no papers. I got so lucky. Yeah, he got away I with it. I literally had insurance on my truck only, and he let me go. No warning, even. He's like, just, you're free to go. It's because he looks at your face, bro. He's like, look how innocent this dude looks. You can't look at Jonathan and be like, criminal. You know, just, it's not, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But anyways, guys, this dude pulled up. I saw the post last night. I think it was literally like 1 o'clock in the morning when he actually posted that. So he stayed up pretty late. Um, we we're supposed to saw this a little bit sooner, but regardless, we are finally getting a wrap on this E92 M3. This thing has, I believe, over 150,000 miles, and it does have a little bit of wear and tear over the car. But I told Jonathan, instead of trying to do absolutely everything, like paint perfection, everything, might as well just wrap the car. It'll make it look super sick. It's a temporary thing. They can always change the color later. So if you guys want to see the wrap color that's going on Jonathan's E92 M3, there's actually going to be a uh, color reveal, and I'm going to be wrapping the whole car. Like, we haven't done a wrap in a whole car in probably two years now or three years. So you guys are going to see all that come down again on Jonathan's E92 M3. It's going to be pretty sick because he has a couple other mods that's going to be slapped on this car, especially after the wrap. It's going to look pretty dope. Anyways, back to the Borla install. <laughs> Let's show you guys this exhaust because it looks so good. Just like the good old days, both of us doing videos. <laughs> it's been a minute. All right, guys, so we got the exhaust back here just chilling like a villain. I actually realized I didn't actually do some before clips. Let's go ahead and get you guys some before clips. It's nothing crazy. This exhaust is pretty boring, but it does have a little bit of girth to it. It just doesn't sound amazing. And you guys will see what I mean. Okay, 
it. To be fair, that actually sounds pretty good, but you don't hear any of those po uh, pops and all that stuff when you're actually driving the car. So that does sound pretty good, not too shabby, but it's gonna sound a whole lot better in the shop and I feel like it's gonna finally start making some bangs and some nice sounds when we're actually driving. Now, I actually saw somebody uh, make a video on installing exhaust on a 981 and they said it only took 30 minutes to do it. So I don't know if the same rules apply with the Borla exhaust, but let's go ahead, jack this thing up and see if it does. So we got both wheels off the rear of the car. We got the car jacked up, nothing too crazy so far. Let me show you guys all you have to do to remove the exhaust on this car. Now, because this is a mid-engine car, uh, the engine's not in the back, not in the front. It is in the middle, but uh, that makes things simple. It's literally just a catalytic converter right there, and then uh, the exhaust is right here. That's it. Uh, it actually looks like it comes apart too, if you're having a hard time maneuvering it through the coilovers or the shocks or whatever. So. We'll see, I hope I don't have to loosen that because I want to keep it as factory alignment as possible. Um, so there's just two screws right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Two screws there, two screws on the other side. And then there's like four screws that are holding the center right there. And then you pretty much drop it and maneuver it out. So I thought you have to move the rear bumper, which you don't thankfully. So, I mean, theoretically, again, the video, it took me about five minutes so far to get it jacked up, take off two wheels. Should take me another 25 minutes to drop the exhaust. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So guys, thankfully those four nuts that hold it onto the catalytic converters on both sides came off very easy. Uh, didn't have any issues. For those of you guys who have salt on your roads and have those things rusted out, uh, good luck. For me in California, thankfully I don't have that issue. Um, so now looking at my exhaust, it looks like there is a mounting bracket right here. And I believe there is one on each side as well. There's one right here and there's one on the other side. So uh, I believe it's just three screws. I could be wrong, but I think that is it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and drop those three screws and drop this whole exhaust. So guys, finally out with the old. Um, I don't even really know. Okay, so first off, first things first, uh, this was no joke. Like removing this uh, this little thing here did take me a lot of time uh, because I didn't have the proper tools. I ended up looking at Arlon's, my boy over here. He has his own toolbox and uh, where is it at? He had this 11 mil that's a wrench hitting whatever. Long story short, if he had one of these 11s twice the size, life would have been so much easier. And if he had, uh, and if I actually found out that he had one of these sooner, it would have been a whole lot easier. One of these ratcheting wrenches, um, just because those four bolts to remove that back bracket was a pain in the butt. But literally, just those four screws, two nuts, two nuts, slide the exhaust out. As you guys can see, you didn't have to touch anything else on the car, which is pretty sick. Now, I gotta figure out how to put this exhaust in the car just because it is actually different. The mounting points back here, nothing special. Um, same old, same old. Uh, but the thing is, is how am I gonna mount it over here? There's only one pipe that's coming out of the muffler on each side. As you guys can see on this one, there is two pipes that connect the two mufflers um, right here, just like that. And then this bracket, I don't, it looks like it's part of the exhaust. I don't know how it's supposed to mount onto that so that can go on the car. So I'm gonna do a little more research. I'm gonna look in the instruction manual. I'll get back to you guys in a second. So guys, uh, <laughs> through the instructions in the garbage, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not really, uh, I'm not in love with the instructions. Uh, I think this could be a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm making this YouTube video for you guys. Forget that. So long story short, we took off the exhaust. I took it off with the bracket. Ended up taking off the bracket off of the exhaust. Once I have the exhaust off the car. Uh, basically, these are the four bolts that you had to pretty much take off. Those are super pain. Once you get this off uh, with the exhaust, there's just two uh like clamps you take out the two bolts there and we're actually going to go ahead and reinstall this back into the car and then just piece by piece reassemble the exhaust back onto the car in pieces not all back at once so uh without further ado let's go ahead and slap this thing on and hopefully this uh exhaust just rests on that and just looks proper <laughs> i don't know what else to say to be honest So guys, small update. Uh, basically, I rested this muffler onto the stock exhaust hanger 
And then I used the, ex the, the stock exhaust clamp, which is, where is it exactly? It basically looks like one of those, but the stock ones that hold the stock muffler. This clamp right here. I use the stock one, put it on there, and it works absolutely phenomenal. So honestly, guys, I was tripping. I think I was over-exaggerating. Uh, but the only thing I'm not over-exaggerating is, is uh, the uninstallation. The installation is a whole lot easier. I got the tips mocked up exactly where I want it. Uh, so now that I got all this side ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and install the other side and then button it all up. I think it's gonna be so, so, so sick. Hopefully I don't snap any bolts because the only thing that's gonna hold this up from starting this car in the next, like probably 20 minutes. So good news is guys, we have the exhaust in the car and it's literally sticking out like crazy. <laughs> I don't know um, if I like the chrome, I think I might go with a polished, uh, I'm thinking maybe, maybe gloss black. I don't know, I don't know. Do you guys think it'll look good? I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like it just sticks out a lot. But maybe that's a good thing. It shows it has an, a, you know, an upgraded, an, uh, an upgraded exhaust or something. You guys let me know down below what you guys think of the tips. But the exhaust is completely installed now. Thankfully, I didn't run into any rusted bolts. Thankfully, I didn't run into any issues. Theoretically, now the car is done. So let's go ahead and drop it and give it its first startup. emissions here because I didn't touch the cat so I don't have a check engine light it sounds insane oh my god can you guys believe this is a Cayman S Woo! that sounds amazing my god guys I am so pleased with this right now um, I'm gonna have to get some drive-bys tomorrow when I got my boy Jonathan over and some driving clips but right now you guys heard the difference night and day forget that I just going in the garbage I mean uh, nattyautoparts.com but <laughs> that sounds absolutely amazing shout out to keys motorsports for partnering up in this video and having this exhaust in stock i'm super 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 happy about that my god guys this thing is starting to feel like an exotic that's pretty sick heard the exhaust it honestly sounds so much better this thing is finally alive and the crazy thing is now is that we're not done with this car let's go ahead and keep upgrading the rear end of this car and make it look so let's go ahead and get to the spoiler that being said i've actually never installed a wing like this 135 this is an apr wing it's actually pretty dope carbon fiber we're gonna be selling that here in a little bit we're gonna be doing this part out in this 135 it's got a 1m kit i'm getting super side distracted but it's got a 1m kit on it 1m fenders 1m hood uh save on carbon fiber hood uh getting distracted again, Erlon's over here, working on an E90 personal project of his. Anyways, long story short, doing a spoiler on any car I've never done before. You put on a spoiler on a car? You drilled holes? Yeah. On God? Yeah. All right, you do this, I'll do that. Oh, Sis, Sis, you actually done it? I've done it. I'm How? Just okay, you know what? I'm gonna go do the pep work and you just show up, make sure you let me know if I did it right. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jonathan apparently he's done a spoiler before which gives me a lot more confidence that somebody here has done it because this deck Oh dear lord. <laughs> Those sounds just don't sound right. <laughs> but we do work at a dismantling shop So we're kind of we're supposed to be used to this kind of stuff. So yeah, we do have a man with some experience in terms of this uh, So without further ado again, I'm not gonna be talking. I don't want to do too I don't want to waste your guys this time I want to get the spoiler on there So let's go ahead and do some prepping some drilling some whatever in and get our GT4 spoiler on there. So guys, after some test fitting, I pretty much fully assembled the wing, kind of loosened all the bolts, but fully assembled the wing, um, got this little piece of paper, did a little bit of weird measurements to where I can kind of get the base right there, as you guys can see, and then did the measurements from each side, make sure like also just two fingers apart. Honestly, there's nothing really crazy to it. Everyone says they spend about like an hour or something on this or two hours trying to get it perfect. I think that's perfect enough. So I think what I did is enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just use something like this uh, to pretty much start pinning out 
everywhere that I'm actually gonna be drilling on my trunk. Uh, hopefully that this is gonna work. I wish I had a pen that goes straight through it, but unfortunately I don't. So I'm just gonna put this straight through it, kind of just puncture uh, the uh, the tape right here. And it's not gonna matter, because again, I'm gonna have to drill through it anyway. So damaging your paint, technically gonna be drilling through your paint. So if you're not okay with this, you shouldn't be doing this job to begin with. But anyways, hopefully that's gonna go smooth. So. We're taking the big, we're taking the big leap of faith right now because there's no going back. Hopefully this works out. So guys, as you guys can see, everything is drilled out. There is no going back. So I might as well just go ahead and peel this thing up. Some people like to put the wing towards the middle. I don't know why I liked it towards the back. I like it to be further back than this wing because if this wing ever comes up, the bigger spoiler will be over here. And I think it looks kind of weird. So I like it to be able to cover this from the top angle or the side angle. I think my way is better. Again, I could be wrong. It's the first time I ever saw a spoiler. And that's from that perspective. Maybe when I start looking at this perspective, I might be like, oh man, I messed up. But anywho, hopefully I didn't make the wrong decision and it's gonna come out fantastic because again, there's no going back now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and peel up this paint. Go ahead and rivet down uh, the, the uprights and then we can actually go ahead and install the spoiler. I think it should be like, probably we're probably like literally five minutes away from getting this, uh, this spoiler installed. And then we actually have to uh, panel bond the sides and then we're gonna have to slap on the decals as well. That might take a little bit longer, but anywho, let's go ahead and get to that. So guys, we got the wing on the car. It does honestly look super, super, super good. And we have the other wing in the up position as well. I actually do like both wings, but at the same time, we're probably not gonna have it up as much. As you guys can see, I have the bigger wing sticking further back than the smaller wing. So if it ever comes up, it doesn't look too weird. And look at it from the top view as well. I think it looks really, really, really good. Coming around to the back, this is how it looks with both wings up. Actually, that actually does look a little weird. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that spoiler real quick. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> looks super good. So now we just gotta put on the two side pieces and then the decal. So uh, yeah, I believe it came with some panel bond. I'm gonna use that to put on the two side pieces and then we're gonna go ahead and slap on the decals. I might slap the decals on the side pieces before I slap it on the, the wing just because it might make things easier uh, then when I'm putting it on there and then I try to stick the decal on there I might be trying to move it a lot and the panel bond might not actually do its thing So let's go ahead and get the decals on the side pieces and then get it on this wing Just to show you guys what I'm talking about. These are the side pieces that go onto the spoiler So I think this sits something like this. I think nope wrong side Bada bing bada bing Okay, just like that. So that's just something like that which looks pretty cool. But I was telling you guys earlier, from the side portfolio, we have gold on the front bumper, gold on the wheel, gold on the door, and there's nothing else gold on the back other than the wheel. So I figured if we actually put some gold right here, it'll look really, really, really good. So that being said, I got these custom made natty pieces, natty decals to go on these. Now, it's a real hit or miss if these are gonna fit on here nicely because he's never done this before. I just took some pictures of this, gave him some rough measurements, and uh, he made me those. So hopefully, they're gonna look good on here. Let's go ahead and clean this up as much as we can, and then go ahead and throw those on it. As you can see guys, the wing is on there, the decals are on there, the dream is coming alive. It looks so, so, so good. The last decal I gotta put is the one on the top. This is literally Porsche right across. I think it's gonna look super sick. Um, but for now, I just have the tape holding those on to make sure they don't actually come off. I'm gonna leave it on probably for a day and then we'll take that off. It should be panel bonded and then we should be ready to rock and roll. But that looks phenomenal, I'm super happy with that. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys when we're actually stopping on the decal.
Now, let me know what you guys think of the wing spoiler, the spoiler on the Porsche. What you guys think? Do you think it added a really nice touch to this car? Or do you guys think it's a little too much? I thought this is literally the dream spec 981 Cayman S you can possibly build, but that could be just my opinion. You guys can let me know down below. But I absolutely love the natty effect on the side of the car. It really adds a little bit of gold to the rear because the rear had no gold. Now it does and looks so sick. And the Porsche on the top of the spoiler, I mean, that's just a nice touch. I think every Porsche should have that from factory. I don't know. I just It's like a Porsche thing. So I think I love it. So without further ado, guys, gonna have to conclude this video. We have something we're working on behind the scenes here at the shop at Natty Auto Parts. Um, we got some CS door panels removed off this car. It has extended leather, CS center console, CS trim. Of course, we're parting out a CS. We got the full interior, the seats, all that good stuff. The car was actually in really good shape. Um, the hood actually is already pre-sold. We got a deposit on it. One of the things I didn't think would actually sell pretty quick, but it sold super quick because of how rare that thing is. It is a carbon fiber OEM hood and it's in pristine condition and we already pre-sold it. So super happy about that. God bless. So without further ado, guys, gonna have to conclude this video. The Porsche is absolutely amazing and we did a lot to it. But at this point, let's go ahead and start shifting our focus back into some BMW content because the F81 is not gonna build itself. The CS is here because the drivetrain we are using for the F81 M3 is coming from that. And we have another car chilling right there. For those of you guys who came to the meet will know what that car is. For those of you guys who didn't, you will see in the next video. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.